3M will phase out the manufacturing so-called forever chemicals and try to get them out of all their products within two years. The announcement Tuesday comes after U.S. environmental regulators in August designated the chemicals used in cookware, carpets, and firefighting foams as hazardous substances under the so-called Superfund law. Studies have shown that exposure to polyfluorochil substances, better known as PFAS, uh, PFAS, uh, may lead to a cancer or other health problems, including damage to organs. Chemical and other industrial companies have been sued frequently in recent years for dis- downplaying the dangers of the chemicals. Perfluoroalkyl and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAS compounds, are man made carbon and fluorine based chemicals. PFAS compounds are incredibly resistant to breaking down. Since the early 1940s, PFAS has been used in various consumer and industrial products, including protective coatings, waterproof fabrics, and firefighting foam. Their resistance to heat, oil, and water is what makes them so useful. There are hundreds of known compounds, each with varying uses in our daily lives. PFAS compounds don't occur in nature, and it takes a significantly longer time for these compounds to break down in the environment and in the human body. The CDC's Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry says PFAS contamination has the potential to affect growth, learning, and behavior of infants and older children. It could lower a woman's chance of getting pregnant, and it could increase the risk of cancer. In February 2019, the Environmental Protection Agency released its PFAS Action Plan, which includes guidelines for PFAS contamination testing. In Alaska, the Department of Environmental Conservation started to test drinking water for five PFAS compounds in 2018. That was reduced to just two compounds in April before a recent memorandum by the DEC announced that the state would now test for all 18 compounds recommended by the EPA. Scientists are still learning about how PFAS exposure affects human health, but regulations to reduce their use and testing water for contamination is the first step toward understanding how to combat what are known as forever chemicals.